Today, I want to teach you the most important thing. When I finally understood this concept, trading became extremely easy. Because once you understand this, you will know where the market is going to go next. And this concept is called order flow. So order flow is basically where the orders are flowing. So we all know how the banks are controlled by the smart money, the big banks, the financial institutions, the hedge funds, basically all the people with a lot, a lot of money, a lot of capital, right? They are the people who have the power to move the market. Unlike us retail traders, we are just small fishers in this big ocean. They are the sharks, right? They can eat us alive if they want. And at the end of the day, just remember that the forex market is a trillion dollars market. So even if you trade with a million dollars, it's not gonna move the market much, all right? Ultimately, it's all the big banks that are controlling it, all the smart money. So all the flow allow us to understand how or where the smart money are trading. So if you can understand the market participants' behavior, you pretty much got the cheat codes to the markets. And like I said, how we can understand how the banks are trading is through this concept called order flow. So order flow is basically like your market structure. You know how in a downtrend, price will just not just like go down straight, right? It will go down, retrace a little bit, go down, retrace a little bit, creating your lower high, lower low, lower high, and lower low. So your swing lows, your swing highs, right? So there's orders at this swing low, there's orders at this swing high, and then swing low again, and then swing high, all right? There are orders at around all these levels over here. Now, this is what we call the external market structure, right? The higher time frame structure. So on the daily time frame or the four hour time frame, you most likely look like this, right? You can clearly identify the lower highs, lower lows. But if you go down to the lower time frames, you'll be able to see the internal structure. So the internal structure could be like you can see after price did this huge down move, it's gonna start retracing a little bit, creating your little mini uptrend before price create a new lower high, before price goes down even further, and then the same thing repeat itself, so on and so forth. This is your internal structure. Now in this example, the higher time frame market structure is downtrend, so the order flow is bearish. But if you go to the lower time frame, like maybe the one hour, even the 15 minute time frame, you will start to see like those little small retracements, small little uptrend like this, right? So the internal structure is uptrend, the internal structure is bullish. And this is exactly why a lot of you guys get confused when it comes down to market structure. You guys see this small little uptrend, small little retracement, and you think that the market is reversing and is heading back up, right? No, because you guys must understand order flow, understand market structure. So how you can trade this is that you can wait for price to get to a premium pricing, which is somewhere right around here at the last lower high and then there's also like somewhat of a supply zone around this area here. So you wait for price to get to a medium zone. I can just put down a medium right here. Yeah, you can see like somewhere right around this zone is the premium zone, right? You wait for price to get into this premium zone and also get to this supply zone area that we have right here. So now is where we combine everything that we have learned, right? Like your smart money concepts when it comes to premium and discount and also your supply and demand zones. So like I said, you want to wait for price to get to a premium pricing and into areas of supply. And you want to wait for an order flow realignment, which is the internal structure to realign with the overall external structure, right? So right now it's still an uptrend. So it's not aligned with the overall downtrend, right? So right here, we want to see some sort of break of structure that show us that, you know what, this little uptrend, this little retracement is done and price is going to continue to go down, continue to go down and aligning itself to this overall external market structure, this overall downtrend. Then you can take the trade out of this supply zone right here. And then you can place a stop loss above this supply zone. And then for first take profit, you can target your internal low somewhere right around here. And then the second take profit, you can take it all the way down to the external low, which is down here. So like I said, this is how you can get those like super nice sniper entries and high risk to reward ratio. When I really understood this and began to apply this onto the charts, my trading became so much more better because now I'm able to catch like those nice sniper entries like this, which give me a much higher risk to reward ratio. Like sometimes even one is to 30 or one is to 50 even. And there are people using this same strategy, catching 
one is to 100 entries, right? Which is crazy. And how they do that is by doing the same thing, but instead of entering on maybe the 15 minute time frame, they go down to the one minute time frame, the smallest time frame, and really look for that nice sniper entry, like and enter before the liquidity, before the order flow comes in. That is how they can get those like, one is to 100 entries like this. You can see if you go down to the one minute time frame, you can have like a five pip or 10 pip stop loss or something. And you can see the, risk to draw ratio just insane now once again like i said the order flow will look something like this this is the external structure price is creating our higher highs and higher lows but within this higher highs and higher lows there's going to be like small little internal structure ideas you see price creating small little higher highs higher lows and then it starts reversing creating your lower highs lower lows so a little downtrend here and then back to uptrend and then here going up and then downtrend and then so on and so forth, right? So these are your internal structure, right? Your internal structure, we show you that, okay, that is downtrend, that is downtrend. So our job here is basically to wait for the internal structure to align with the external structure, wait for the small lower time frame trend to align with the higher time frame trend. Then that is when we take the trade. So right here, you can see price is just creating your internal structure retracement, right? So at this point of time, we should not be entering anywhere in this down move. You do not want to sell in an uptrend. You want to buy in an uptrend, right? You want to trade with the trend. So we want to wait for this retracement to be done. Then we can trade with the trend and ride the overall trend up. So at this point of time, we start seeing some sort of break of structure. Then this one, you can enter for a buy here and take it all the way up to the next swing high, right? Very, very nice trade right here. So now let's go into the charts and apply whatever we just learned so far. So you can see right now we are on the daily time frame and we can clearly see that price is in a downtrend right now. So the over the order flow is bearish, right? The order flow is bearish because price is creating your lower highs, lower lows, lower highs, and lower lows. So order flow bearish and we should be looking to sell. So the higher time frame trend, the external structure is showing us that price is bearish and it's in the downtrend. But if you go to maybe let's say the four hour time frame, you will actually start to see that price is actually creating your higher highs and higher lows. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is your internal structure, right? And we do not want to be buying in the downtrend. We want to sell in the downtrend, but price is in a little uptrend on this internal structure right now. So we do not want to enter for a buy anywhere here. We want to wait for the trend right here, this trend to break structure and align with the overall trend, the overall downtrend, the overall order flow. Then that is when we can enter for a sell. So right here, price creating your higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. And you can see this is the last low high by the way. And it has went up to this supply area, this supply zone that we have right here. You can see right here, there's a little supply zone area right here. This one right here, supply zone. So price has went up to our supply zone and we can plot our premium and discount right here. Premium and discount and you can see price has went up to the supply zone. And right now we are waiting for some sort of break of structure that tell us that this uptrend internal structure is done and price is going to reverse and hit back down, right? That is what we are waiting for. So at this point of time, we see price creating higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. But over here, over here guys, notice what price did. And this area right here, higher high, higher low, higher high, and it starts consolidating around here. And it went down here. Go back to retest this same low, go up here, create your new lower high. You can see right here, this is the new lower high. This high is lower than the previous high. And eventually broke through the last higher low. So this tells us that price is going to reverse to become a downtrend right now and it's finally going to align with our overall external structure. So we should be looking to sell. So what we did was that we can wait patiently for price to come back up to retest this area. And then over here, somewhere around here, that is when we can enter for our sell position. And this swing, this, this new lower high, right? And I'll place my stop loss above this new lower high. And in this example, what I can even do is go down to the 15 minute time frame to get your nice entry. On the 15 minute time frame, you can see like right here, stop loss above this high right here. And your take profit, remember your take profit, you want to target the first internal structure first. The first internal structure, I mean the first low in the, the first structural low in the internal structure is this area that we have right here. See right here, there's this support area right here, this demand zone right here. So this can be your first take profit, right? So when price goes down to this area, you can maybe get out and take partial profits, right? Just take partial profits. 
And then for your second take profit, you want to target the external structure low. So if you go back down up to the higher time frame, you can see that the last time price went all the way down, it was right here, right? This was the last lower low being created. And right now price has created your new lower high and it's going to go down to create your new lower low, right? So what we can do is that we can place our second take profit all the way down here, like all the way down here. So you can see this is the one is the 20 risk to reward ratio, right? One is 20. Also, yeah, you can place your take profit all the way down and this swing low. And it'd be really satisfying if you can see this trade play out. And also make sure actually this is way too tight because price can easily come up to retest this area that we have right here before going back down, right? So you can either place it, give you a little bit of breathing room right here, or you can even place it above the supply zone that we have right here. But I'll just place it above this area right here. And you can see price eventually went up to retest that same area, this same supply zone that we have right here. And this is where you can eventually look to enter for another sell position, right? Another skill in for another sell position right here. And now we have two trades running down to our take profit right here. And you can see price started going down, creating a low high and eventually smash our take profit. So this, just based on these two trades alone, we have made 1 is to 11, 1 is to 12. So if you combine these two, is 1 is to 23, right? 1 is to 23. So this was like a very nice like sniper entries. And this is exactly how you can use order flow to get those nice sniper entries that can give you a, a very high risk to rock ratio. Now, knowledge is useless if you do not apply it. And if you guys know me, I'm the type of guy that practice what I preach. I walk the talk, all right? So I'm gonna show you a trade that I took last week based on this concept, the order flow, based on the order flow concept, right? So right now we are on gold and you can see price has been in the uptrend, right? Price has just been creating a higher highs, higher lows, higher highs and higher lows in a beautiful uptrend. So the order flow in this case is bullish and I'll be looking to buy, right? And this is the trade I took by the way. So order flow is bullish, I'm looking to buy. But last week, I remember somewhere right around last week, price was giving us this downtrend right here, right? Price started to retrace, it's like making its retracement. So I pulled out my huge Fibonacci and I figured that price will retrace to either of these retracement levels that we have drawn right here. So what I did was that I was waiting for price to show me that this retracement, this internal structure is going to be over, right? And price is going to align to the overall structure with this uptrend. So what I did was that I was like waiting because right now price is still creating your lower highs, lower lows, lower highs and lower lows, right? So just waiting, waiting to see that to see this downtrend ending and I start seeing signs that like price is going to end, right? You can see right here, this downtrend right here is going to end. This is the lowest lower low and price starts to go up there and create a new lower high. But then it failed to create a new lower high. So it actually went back down to this area here once again and just start reversing. So at this point, I saw like a little double bottom right here, right? Price failed to break past this area multiple times, right? And at this point of time, you can see price trying to create a new uptrend structure. You can see this low, higher than this low that we have right here. So this shows us that now the internal structure is starting to shift to become an uptrend, starting to become bullish again. So we should be looking to buy right now because right now the trend is aligned with the overall external structure, which is the uptrend that we have right here. So I was just waiting and right, right here, I knew that this was a double bottom, right? And I wanted to wait for price to break the neckline. So the neckline will be somewhere right around here. Yeah, we're waiting for price to break through this area here. And the moment I start seeing a lot of momentum breaking past this area here, I enter for a buy somewhere right around here, right? Enter for a buy here. At the same time, price has went down to our demand zone. You can see this is a demand zone. And it's also a discount zone, right? Discount zone, demand zone, and also the, the bottom. And we also see on the Fibonacci price has retraced down to the 61.8 retracement level and it's like reversing right now. So we have multiple confirmation, multiple confluences for me to enter for this trade. So I entered for this trade right here and yeah, price is just going up right now and I targeted all the way up at this swing high right here because if you go down to the higher time frame, you can see that this is the last swing high. So right now price is going to create a new higher high. And then new higher low, higher high, higher high, low, low, something like this, right? And right now I'm up like 16.8k on this trade or something. Yeah, so I'm just gonna hold the trade all the way up to my take profit and just trust my analysis. I'll probably update you guys on this trade in the next uncensored trading episode or something. So if you have learned something, make sure you smash the like button and hit on that subscribe button. And 
click on this video because this video is very, very good and useful when I talk more about trading strategy and the only trading strategy that you need to become profitable or something like that. Just click on this video, all right? Trust me, trust me, it'll benefit you so much. And remember, you're just one trade away. Mwah.